So it goes to show that the sun isn't always shining in Devon. Uh, I'm back on site, Glenn's up the top just clearing the access track because we took the trees out. It allows us to get a 20 tonner in if uh, he scrapes away where the stump has been ground out. He's going to fill that with uh, stone then 803 and then we'll use a roller to compact that in. So bigger lorries means that we're going to pay less money for material when it comes in and nothing's um, more true about that statement than when we expect the concrete which is hopefully next week for the strip foundations so today i'm going to be putting the soil pipes in the locations and checking that the fittings are correct i spent a day getting the x and y's of the soil pipe locations where they penetrate through the slab uh, because if you get those wrong and the slab's cast then you goosed really because if you're too far away from an internal wall how do you recover that distance you've got a certain amount in the floor makeup where you might be able to add a bend or a flexible joint but really you want the soil pipe sticking through in the exact position because when the slab goes in it's set in stone so i'm going to be double checking that i also got mark out the surveyor to uh, double check my calculations um, I was out on some of them, so it was a good exercise to get him out here. Would I use um, a surveyor again rather than doing it manually? Yes, I would, because it took me probably the best part of the day. I've never done it before, um, and I'm a novice at it. So you'll notice here where I've got the X and the Y for the soil pipe swept bend, uh, the exact location. That's going to be dug out by Glenn in his bucket, so we're going to lose that. So what I've done to ensure that I can get the exact location again, because obviously this is now verified by the surveyor, is I put a pin here and a pin here. And I've used this stick. Which I've measured up. And uh, you can see we're just slightly out there um, by about 10 mil. But that's okay, that's within tolerance. But what it means is when this when this is removed, all I have to do is use that particular measuring stick to pick up the center X and Y. Well, that should save me time. And of course, when Glenn's digging out, he's not going to be touching those two pins either side with his bucket. Over this 32 length where we've got our soil starting here, and we've got quite a few lines coming into this soil pipe that will come down here. Yeah. What's the depth difference, do you reckon? Well, we're coming out of there, we must be 150 mil lower in the ground. So it'll be about 400 mil difference from start of the run to the end of the run. But the reason we want to try to get down so deep here is that we'll be putting a man over there under the swing shovel and out there is going to go a separate tank. And we don't watch out, the run will go like that and dive into the tank. We want to break the run up so the run's nice, nice, nice steady run to the tank. Get on because you can have it too steep and the uh, building control don't like it. We're carrying, babe. We've got 10 bags of post creek and we're going to put them under the uh, 90 degree floor bends of the soil pipes so they don't go anywhere until the dry mix arrives on Friday. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> I got a there we go. Slowly bedding in the pipes. Are you talking to me? Go on then, Beth. Well, what am I saying? Sorry. I've... I don't know. Just tell everybody what's happening. Well, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> That's about 16 tonne of steel, I reckon. It is 16 tonne of steel you bought, as we said. I know, a lot of money. A lot of money. But we shifted it on the right side now. We shifted it from over there, as you probably saw, where it was being lowered down. And then Glyn's been uh, laying it here on that island in the middle and then tracking round and then lifting it there into its final position. So it's ready for the installers, really close by for the slab. So proper job there, Glyn, isn't it? Proper job.
Good man. Glyn's cracking on behind us, the legend he is. So we are about to do, or well, we're going through the strip foundations, which is 32 meters in length, 60 centimeters in width, and approximately a meter in depth. And these will be filled hopefully next week and they will provide the main support for the front of the build. Ticks in the boxes. Doing yeah. a grand job, Tone. Doing a grand job. Tell us about the C10 today. How many cubes have we had? So we've had um, three, four lots. Um, so we've had three at six point seven five cube and another five. Um, and we've used faith, and they've been absolutely amazing. Paul and Steve the office has done all they can to help. They're brilliant. Use them again without doubt. Okay, Al, so what are we doing today then? Uh, the 803 has been compacted already and the strip foundation went in yesterday. So that was a big job completed. So now we're putting blinding sand down and we're going to roll that so it's nice and smooth and it gets rid of all the sharp tops of the stones from the 803. So when they come to put the membrane down for the tanking that goes underneath the slab, it won't get pierced and uh, it'll give it a nice uniform look. Nice. I've just been on site with the dog and the surveyor and we've been double checking the dimensions, making sure the X and Y's of the soil pipes are correct, make sure there's no howlers. We don't want a soil pipe coming up underneath where an internal wall is going to be. So I'm pleased to say that's good. So that's going to save us, uh, save us money and time in having to get fittings to deviate through the floor makeup to get them in the right place. We've also been banging in nails on site and marking out lines for the exterior of the slab. What we done, Beth? We sprayed the lines. And why? I don't know. <laughs> we sprayed the lines, ready for the shuttering to go down. So the guys who are coming um, will know exactly where to place the shuttering before it gets filled with concrete where our slab will be. Very good. So that's the lines painted as Beth mentioned. <laughs> oh God. It will give them a guide to stick to anyway. So if the Shuttering is a couple of inches either side of it, and they know they've made a mistake. Obviously, it's not precision, you can see that, but uh, it also helps us understand just how large the footprint is as well. So, it's quite interesting. Yeah. 